Shake it, baby. Hey, feel like Frozone. Wear my super suit, my wrist cold. I can't hold that bitch like sipping super bottle. Hey, everybody. It's Tony back again with another NSB tutorial video. This tutorial video on NSB will be on Blue Tasks. Blue Tasks are most known for cooking Shopify on NSB. There are three types of Blue Tasks you can run on NSB. You can run all, all notify, and a specific site task. Now today I will be showing you task setup, delays and proxies, site supported, keywords, start to end setup, and conclusion. If you would like to see the sections, just look at the timeline below and you can click on the specific section if you need to look. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now our first section is going to be task setup. Now I bet all of you are thinking as you start up, how do you create a blue task? I mean there's no option to on the create task setup on NSB without looking on the advanced tab. I mean, it is very unlikely for a beginner to know how to run a blue task. So let me show you here. For blue tasks, they can be very risky as you want to be running the right keywords. It's going to run right as they pick up those keywords that they're in stock. So you want to be very precise with these keywords. So what I will do is do a specific site for you right now. So let's pick a site. Let's pick something like fear. Let's pick DSM London. Now you will see that you can select a keyword. Now for keywords, let's say Yeezy breads are still restocking and we really want a pair of a size 11 Yeezy bread. Now what we will do is go on the NSB Discord and we will go to the exact keywords. Now I want to emphasize you want to make sure you are running the exact keywords. I've seen many many times and you guys can check in the checkout logs that people are checking out the wrong product with blue tasks. Make sure you are running the exact keywords. Don't just run keywords like Yeezy, Air Jordan because they'll check out the wrong product. Please remember that. Now we are going to copy the keyword, the complete full keyword on NSB Discord. We're going to paste it in here and it looks like a basic task. Now for size, we'll do size 11 as we wanted a size 11. For number of tasks, we'll do one. I would probably run a safe mode and a cyber mode just because monitoring doesn't use proxy data as I will tell you in a second. So let's just do safe mode for now. And then we'll pick one of my cards. Okay. So now you click on the advanced tab. Now we just clicked on the button in the bottom left corner as you can see right there. Now you can see that we have a lot of different options now and you can see this use shared monitor option. Turning on this use shared monitor option will turn on the task to blue, which will be a monitoring task. It will basically use the in-house NSB monitor to monitor tasks or your extended monitors that you already have up like I do right here from Apex Chiefs. They are a cook group. Now what you will do is create the task as shown if you are looking for DSML to restock. So we will start that. And as you can see, there's a blue task in the background and it is monitoring for Yeezy Black Bread. What we will do now is show you the all in all notify, which will basically all will auto create and start from all monitors. Now this will monitor every single site. So what it'll do, it'll monitor for that keyword and it'll start running. Now you want to be very, very precise with this, even more so over site specific because there's so much of a tighter keyword gap because you're running for so many different sites. I mean, there's over thousands of Shopify sites and the monitored ones are over hundreds. I mean, you don't want to be checking out the wrong items. So please use the NSB Discord. And if you don't need to run all, I wouldn't suggest it. All is very risky as some sites are very flaky and don't give you your shoe for months on end. So we will start a all tasks for now, but we will start it the same exact thing. And then you can also do advanced settings for site keywords. We will not use that now. So we will start this up. All notify will not let you pick a profile. This will be because it'll notify you before it tries to check out the item. So if you're near your computer, this is a very good bet. And I use this time to time and it will notify me once I'm trying to check out and make me pick a profile. Now all of you must be wondering how does this work and how does this differ from a running task? 
Well, for running tasks, you are using proxy data, and you are running that site on end with a monitor delay. It'll either be the default 3500 or it'll be a random number you choose. Now, it'll keep on pinging that site and keep on using your proxy data, which you don't want. So why not use the NSB in-house monitor, which NSB came up with a great idea to make blue tasks. Now, blue tasks will basically monitor the site without the task running. And once they will pick up that keyword, it'll start running. But this means it won't be through queue yet. So if they start a checkpoint, then you'll have to wait through queue. But you'll be the fastest as NSB will pick it up the quickest. Now, this will work for many, many sites. And I advise any NSB user to run this on just their computer while they're doing work. I mean, one item could restock and you could easily get a checkout because nobody else is running for this. But the problem is you will not be through queue like a running task. So that's how it will differ from a running task. Now, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section below. Let's get to the next section. So the next section we will be speaking on is delays and proxies. Now, I bet most of you are wondering what delays and proxies should I be running for this? Now proxies, it will not matter. I would basically only run DC, ISP, or localhost for blue tasks. I mean, it doesn't matter how many blue tasks you're running on localhost. You just don't want to be running too much because then too many will go to the Shopify site right when it will drop the keyword and your localhost will get throttled. I would play around with it. But what I do is usually use my ISPs that don't use data and I have daily for daily use. For delays, I would use the normal delay you would use, 3500. I mean, you could go a bit lower, maybe 3333 just to be under everybody else. But that's all up to you. That's all up to personal preference and I'll leave that to you guys. Delays and proxies don't really matter with blue tasks because there is no task running. It is using the NSB in-house monitor and once it picks up that delay, it'll run it on your bot. This is all through NSB. Now, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments section below and let's get to the next. So section. this section will be for sites supported with NSB blue tasks. Sites supported with NSB blue tasks are all Shopify pages. Now, if you don't know what a Shopify page, I'll leave a pop up right here on the screen. That is the checkout page you will get for Shopify. Any non botter and botter has seen this checkout page before, I believe, just because it's ran on so many different sites now when it's speaking about all and all notify it is meaning all shopify sites in the nsb in-house monitor that's all i got for site supported there's not really else to talk about it won't work for foot sites easy supply and other if you have any other questions leave them in the comment section below and let's get to the next section so this section will be about keywords in nsb for nsb blue tasks keywords are very crucial for the NSB blue task. Now you do not want to be running a Yeezy or a basic Air Jordan keyword because that will check out the wrong product a hundred percent. I've seen it in the checkouts in NSB Discord and it's crazy how many people do it. Now you can see on my left hand screen on my Discord, you can see that you can go down to archive and you get a lot of different archive guides in the NSB Discord. If you ever want to run a restock, you can click on the archive and find the suggested keywords and run the suggested keywords on the suggested sites. Now, if it's a short keyword like XO Bapesta, I would not run it on all sites because that could check out the wrong item for sure. Every shoe release that NSB has done will be in here so it's easy to access and easy to access these keywords. Please copy and paste when you're adding these keywords and make sure they are long enough and more complex so this so you won't check out the wrong product. You could ask your cook group for information if it's good to run on NSB just for extra securance, but I feel like the NSB keywords are great to run and won't cause you any problems. That's the end of this section. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Let's get to the next one. For this section, we will be talking about start to end setup for NSB blue tasks. For NSB, I have the keywords up on the NSB Discord for the Jordan 4 Fire Red. This was released on the 28th of November. Now for shoes that have recently released, I would run all and all notify because they will be restocking frequently throughout the day. Now for shoes that haven't recently released, I would select specific sites that you know of that restock. Now you can check in within your cook groups for this or within your knowledge. Now what we're gonna do is just copy the keyword with control C and we already have a shoe palace task up here for a specific site. If you are create shoe palace task, you would just type in shoe palace just as I did there. 
now we are going to put in the keywords now if there's a link still you can put in the link as well i think the link is down on shoe palace right now but they have been recently restocking these shoes now for size we are just going to do random i don't really care because this is a tutorial for mode shoe palace drops with anti bot on which means there's a checkpoint loaded which would mean you need cyber mode now you need to figure out with your sites and with your knowledge which drop on antibot and which drop without antibot now with antibot you will be one running to run cyborg and without with safe i would run one to one with them just run one cyborg one safe if you don't really know because then at least one of them will get to that checkout page number of tasks i'm just going to do one with cyborg proxies i'm just going to do local host because it is a blue task so it won't be using proxy data uh, for billing I'm just gonna create one of my billings you shared monitor click this on if you do not click this on you will not have a blue task check out using local IP do not click this on nobody really uses this I mean it sometimes works but only use this with the advisory of NSB present payment gateway is for PayPal and all that so I wouldn't worry about that monitor delays you can bug them however you would like um this is how much it's going to refresh the site when the blue task is active so when the blue task becomes a yellow task what we are going to do is submit the task and we have successfully created a shoe palace blue task now on to the all notify task so if you would want to make an all task you would do the exact same thing you would spell all and you will see all auto create and start from monitors all notify only now what I would usually only do is all notify only. I like to be notified when I'm running for a site. You guys can pick all, but you might get the wrong checkout. I would really suggest you running all notify or a specific site that you know of that's restocking or that has recently restocked in the past 10, five minutes and you start running them. So for right now, I'm gonna do all notify only. For keywords, I'm just gonna paste it and then it's gonna submit it's not gonna pick a billing profile because once it runs, it's gonna ask me what billing profile I'd like to use. So once it starts up, it's gonna ask me that. For all, it's basically the same thing. For Shoe Palace, it's gonna show all these modes because it's gonna run the sites right away. Now this is risky because if they drop on a fake keyword or if they drop on these same keywords just to get bots to check out, you will check out that product because you have those keywords in. I mean, you would want to be near your computer when you're checking out for all. I would highly suggest being near your computer when you are running all blue tasks. For everything else, I would not, you don't really need to be at your computer for specific sites because you know they're going to drop that item. They don't usually bug around. But for all, I would stay at your computer. Now we're just going to run Cyborg, random, no proxy, and one of my cards and submit. And we have successfully submitted a all and all notified task if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below and let's get on to the final section so this is the conclusion for nsb blue tasks i want to emphasize how much this actually cooks it'll do so well and get you so many pairs of shoes on restocks it is crazy because nobody else is running where's the competition there's basically no competition and if you run for the right sites you will get the right product i mean i can't tell you exactly when sites are going to restock and nobody can you just gotta wait and see for yourself. So if you're ever near a computer, ever doing work, you can run these and if you get one, that is amazing. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. My Discord, Twitter, Instagram, and more are in the description. Please leave a like if you wanna see more and subscribe. We are on the way. Let's keep her going. Let's get some more tutorials out. If you guys want a TSB tutorial, please let me know in the comment section below. I just got it yesterday and I did cook on it. So we are doing well for now. We're going to do live cops soon. And I hope you guys liked this video. I'll see you guys all later. Peace out.